Hello, my name is Bates, I'm with Legal Technology Solutions and there is a misconception where you think that if you have a long strong password for your Windows computer you are safe. Uh, in this video I'm going to show you how easy it is to not be a technical person but still be able to hack into any Windows computer and um, the only point behind it is just to scare you enough to do something a little bit better than what you do right now if all you do now is just Windows password. Uh, the recommendation is always to add encryption to your hard drive and obviously if you have uh, a way to physically lock your computer behind a locked door etc not leaving it in your car that's also important but let's jump right into the demo over here of how easy it is to hack into a windows 10 computer with a free tool that we're going to download and this whole video is going to probably hopefully raise some alert with some people but I'm hoping it might get into Microsoft's eyes as well and maybe they can do something about it as well so without further ado let's get going the first thing you need is a tool called Hirens Boot CD. This is the URL over here, and under the downloads page here, you're gonna be able to scroll down and find. I know it's a little tricky, there's a lot of other ads and stuff, so we're looking for this one, HBCD PE X64. So download that and save it. Uh, we want to then burn it on a CD or copy it into a USB thumb drive and um, it is a process that takes probably less than a minute and you just became a hacker. Okay, so we downloaded the Hirens Boot CD. I burned it on a CD already and I'm going to do this. I'm going to sign out from this user account and we are going to try to get in. Username is Bates and the password. Let's try 1234 and we're going to try to log in and it's going to show you the error message. It's not the right password. So here is what we do next. We're going to reboot this computer. Uh, let me shrink the screen a little bit. We're going to reboot the computer and we want to boot off of that CD drive. So let me show you how it's done. If you have a CD in the tray or a thumb drive, all you have to do is boot off of this Pirates boot CD and this is how it looks like. It's going to pop up and what we're going to do is choose Windows XP, mini Windows XP, and it will load a small mini version of Windows XP. We're just using it obviously for the tool so I wouldn't worry about the fact that it's XP and you actually had Windows 10 before. Don't worry about that. Okay, the Hirens Boot CD, when it loads, it looks just like this. What we're going to do is go to Windows Explorer and we're going to look for the local drive, which is the drive that has the Windows folder in it. Um, we are. This is your live hard drive. It happens to show the D drive on here, but uh, it is actually what you are familiar with as the C drive on your computer, most likely. We're going to open the Windows folder and we're going to go to System32 and we're going to look for a folder sorry a file called utilmon so it's this one utilman that's utility manager and what we're going to do is i'm going to make a copy of it i'm going to make a copy and i'm going to call it utilman underscore two next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to look for cmd.exe and I'm going to make a copy of that as well. All I'm doing is right click to copy and then right click, sorry, control C for copy, control V to paste. And that creates the copy over here. You can also right click, choose copy, and then right click anywhere in the white area and choose paste. It created the copy over here. And then what we need to do is we need to rename this original CMD. We need to rename it. Oh, sorry. We do have to go back first to Utilmon, the original one, and we want to delete that. And then we go to the cmd.exe, and we're going to rename it to utilman.exe. That's all we had to do. Next, I'm going to restart the computer again. So 
Uh, we are back online and I'm going to try again one, two, three, four, and you're going to say it's not working. Here's what we have to do next. We have to click over here, which is saying ease of access. It's basically the utility monitor, but it's actually opening up the command prompt. And over here, what we're going to do is type in uh, control user passwords two, no space after the passwords. And that opens up the screen. As easy as you see it over here, we're gonna we're gonna click over here on reset password, and I'm gonna say one two three four on both. I'm gonna type it in there. Click OK, and let's close this. One two three four. Unfortunately, it's just as easy as that to reset any Windows password. It doesn't matter if you had it 2,000 characters long or not. This is all a hacker needs to do if they have physical access to your computer. Free tool, they download on a thumb drive or a CD drive, boot the computer and run those commands. What's the conclusion? I recommend, highly recommend, to follow industry standards, definitely our standards, which is to encrypt your hard drive. Windows 10 Professional Edition has a program called BitLocker. If you go to this PC, you right click on your C drive, you can see turn on BitLocker right over here. I can't do it right now because I am on a virtual machine and there's some settings that I need to do. It's not the same as a physical machine, but um, it's something that you can definitely do. Keep in mind, if you turn on BitLocker, there's always a chance that something will get corrupt. There's a chance you're gonna lose your key. What I recommend is that you do a full backup of your system. To do that, what we recommend, here's another tip for you. Uh, we like to go, we like to use a program called Acronis. So you go to acronis.com and we are going to choose the USA. And from here, even under the personal one, you can get the true image 2019 unless you watch this video a year from now that's going to be probably another version but you can click try now and just download the trial version it's going to allow you to take a full backup of your hard drive it's basically taking a snapshot of the whole drive and it saves it onto an external drive that you have to have over there Acronis is a wonderful program regardless. It also has some cloud features where it can take a copy of your whole hard drive and copy it over to the Acronis Secured Cloud server. Uh, it has some other features, but we use it quite a lot for quick backups like these. So uh, again, the conclusion, encrypt your hard drive using BitLocker. If you're using a Mac, there are free solutions for Mac as well. And there's obviously third-party software out there also for encryption in case your hard drive is not supporting BitLocker or your actual motherboard is not supporting uh, BitLocker so, or processor, sorry. Uh, so if you have any questions, give us a call. Hope this helped save the world one computer at a time. Don't be a target. Thank you very much for watching.